this video is about using the java or the util dot kernel class in java and reading different types of inputs so i've created a application java application called simple io i'll go to source packages and start a new class straight away call it kernel demo put it in the Scanner demo package. Click finish and class is ready. So, in this program, we'll simply read two integers and sum them and print that output. Start simple public static void main, create a main function. First of all, we'll need to import the scanner class. That can be done by import java dot util dot scanner. Now we'll have to create a scanner object. Scanner s is equal to new scanner system dot in. System dot in is the default input stream for a process. And in Java it's called system dot in. In C it was steady in. In C plus plus we had C in. In Java we call it system dot i n. This is the default input stream for a process, and it maps to the keyboard if it is not assigned somewhere else. Now give a prompt. System dot out dot print in. Enter a and B. That's it. INT A is equal to S dot next INT. INT B is equal to S dot next INT. INT sum is equal to A plus B. System dot out dot print in sum is equal to plus sum. We are concatenating as a string. Now go ahead and run the program. Run file. Enter a and b. I enter five and I enter two. Four four a a four four. B is 2. Answer is 6. So we managed to run our first scanner program and did so successfully. Now let's check it a bit. Check the functions in the scanner class. How do we do that? I'll write S and just press dot. Come to the has section as I'll call it. Has next, has next, has next big decimal, has next boolean, has next byte has next int and all sort of things and each and every one of these functions has a return type of boolean now what is the use of these functions the has next group as i'll call it checks for the existence of a certain type of input in the input source that is specified and if it exists it continues to return true otherwise it returns false so let's see if we can read an, a series of integers from the standard input using this function. I'll write like this. While s dot has next int. int n is equal to s dot next int. System dot out dot print n. Right click and run the program like before. I input three integers 1, 2, and 5. It's been read properly. Then 11, 34 again properly. So as long as I keep inputting integers, the scanner class reads them and goes on. How do I end the program? I'll write control Z 
kind of file and the program shell and so using the has next type function you can actually run and loop and keep reading any types of inputs until those type of inputs are exhausted so maybe we can have all these numbers written in a file beforehand and read it from there let's see i'll open a net feed, uh, notepad window and write a few numbers over here 1 2 3 3 4 77 let us save it save as i'm saving it in the k drive and we'll give it the name data so we've got a file called data.txt there's a data dot folder over here so I'll data once again k slash data slash data dot txt this is a file that we have got and i'll try and read it from the scanner so instead of system.in, we'll write, we'll input a file here. How do we do it? You write new file. And give the name of the file. E slash data slash data dot txt. Now it throws an exception, file not found exception. We'll declare it to be thrown. Add throws clause. That's it. Run the program now. I made a blunder over here. It should be data.txt and not data.tx. So it said that the file was not found. Now that was in the k drive i made a mistake once again save it run it one two three three five seventy seven one two three three five seven seven that is the input that we had given and our scanner could read it what else we can actually use the scanner to read data from uh, from the internet Let's try out an example. We'll download the HTML from Microsoft.com. How will it do it? I'll start with a URL. URL. URL is equal to new URL. HTTPS. Microsoft.com. This is spelling mistake over here, so we should correct it right now. This constructor throws a throws an exception of type malformed URL exception. We'll throw it. Next, you open a URL connection. URL connection is equal to URL dot open connection. It open, this opens a connection to the given URL. Then we need to throw another exception. Now, instead of the file, we'll write connection dot get input stream. Save it. We will not be reading integers from here, we'll be reading lines, so it is s dot as next line. String
line is equal to s dot next line and print out the line and there it is line run the program now make sure that your computer is connected to the internet and you'll get the HTML source. Here it is. This is from Microsoft.com. Now there's something else that I would like to say. Difference between next int, next line, etc. What happens if we read a, an integer and then go out and read a line? Let's try this. Scanner else is equal to new scanner. System dot in semicolon. System dot out dot print open. Enter your age and your name. int age is equal to s dot next int string name is equal to s dot next line system dot out dot print age equal to age and System dot out dot print in name is equal to plus name. What next? Run the program. Enter your age. Let's say it's twenty three. See. The next name is equal to s dot next line was not even executed and it gives a blank over there why does it happen the next int function stops reading whenever it encounters a space so 23 space 34 space 4 it will read it as three integers and then there's a new line enter whatever and that remains unconsumed it consumes the space after the integers and the enter character remains unconsumed and that is consumed by the next line which then has blank as its input so to adjust this you just put a next line call in between now run it age 15, name Sachin, it works. That's all and for more details you can WhatsApp me on the link given in the description or maybe meet me personally if you're in Varanasi. Thank you.